Alastair Sees Overeem, born May 17, 1980, is a Dutch former professional mixed martial artist and kickboxer. He is a former Strikeforce heavyweight champion, Dream heavyweight champion, K1 World Grand Prix champion, and was the first fighter to hold world titles in MMA and K1 kickboxing at the same time. Overeem is also a one-time challenger for the UFC heavyweight championship. Biography Overeem was born in Hounslow, London, England, to a Jamaican father and a Dutch mother, whose maternal great-grandmother was an illegitimate child of King William III of the Netherlands. When he was six years old, his parents divorced and he moved with his mother and older brother to the Netherlands, where he grew up in the city of Amersfoort. As a child, Overeem started training martial arts with his older brother Valentin in order to defend himself from bullying. He decided to pursue a competitive sports career by his brother's example, first in judo and later track and field and basketball. At the age of 15, he followed Valentin into Chris Dolman's martial arts gym to become a professional fighter. Alistair initially did not like the sport, as he was routinely beaten by more experienced students, but he changed his mind when he met B.A.S. Rutten and Jip Castile, after which he fully dedicated himself to training. Mixed martial arts career Overeem had his first MMA professional fight at 19 years old, defeating Ricardo Fayet by submission on October 24, 1999 at its showtime, the first event of the eponymously named promotion. Early MMA career after posting a 10-3 record in Fighting Network Rings, M1, its showtime, and Too Hot to Handle, Overeem debuted in the Pride Fighting Championships on July 20, 2002, defeating Yusukura Mamura by TKO in 44 seconds. Pride FC Overeem won two more fights in Pride before entering the 2003 Pride Middleweight Grand Prix at Pride Total Elimination 2003 and losing to future UFC light heavyweight champion Chuck Liddell in the quarterfinal match. Overeem rebounded to defeat Tomohiko Hashimoto at the Inoki Bombay 2003 in 36 seconds. On October 31st, 2004, Overeem fought Hiram Mitsukanehara, defeating him by TKO in the second round at Pride 28. Overeem lost his next fight against Brazilian top team fighter Antonio Rogério Nogueira. In 2005, Overeem entered the Pride Middleweight Grand Prix at Pride Total Elimination 2005, in which he defeated UFC light heavyweight champion Vitor Belfort by submission in the opening round. Overeem moved on to fight Igor Vovchanchin in the quarterfinals at Pride Critical Countdown 2005 and won via submission in under two minutes. Overeem lost in the semifinals to the eventual champion Mauricio Rua. In February 2006, Overeem fought Russian top team favorite Sergei Karadinov. Overeem won, dislocating Karadinov's shoulder in the process. With his win over Karadinov, Overeem secured a spot in the Pride 2006 Openweight Grand Prix at Pride Total Elimination Absolute. He fought Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist Fabricio Verdum and lost via Kimura in the second round. Debut in Strikeforce on June 9, 2006, Overeem traveled to San Jose, California, to win a rematch with Vitor Belfort by decision at Strikeforce, Revenge. Return to Pride A month later Overeem returned to Pride for a highly anticipated rematch with Antonio Rogério Nogueira. Overeem entered the fight with a heavily taped neck. After controlling the first round and a half with his striking, Overeem was stumbled from a punch and Nogueira followed with a flurry of strikes. Worried Overeem would be more severely injured, his corner threw in the towel. At Pride Final Conflict Absolute, Overeem lost to Ricardo Arona. Overeem was on the receiving end of a leg kick that caused a non-serious injury to his nerves, causing him to lose feeling in his foot and leg. Unable to mount much offense or defend against Arona, Overeem tapped out to avoid further injury. He then suffered another KO loss to Mauricio Rua at Pride 33, but returned in June 2007 with a submission win over Michael Knopp at K1 Grand Prix in Amsterdam. Despite K1 being a kickboxing promotion, the bout was fought under MMA rules. On September 17, 2007, at the Heroes 10 middleweight tournament final, Alistair faced Sergei Karadinov again. Overeem showed solid movement as soon as the first round began, but he suffered a KO loss just before the end of the first round. Return to Strikeforce Dream Dynamite on November 16, 
2007, Overeem defeated Paul Buentalo for the vacant Strikeforce Heavyweight Championship by submission due to knee strikes. On June 15, 2008, Overeem won by KO in the first round against Lee Taehyun at Dream 4. On July 21, 2008, Overeem defeated K1 World Grand Prix champion Mark Hunt in the first round by submission at Dream 5, Lightweight Grand Prix 2008 final round. His next fight was against Mirko Krokop at Dream 6 on 23 September 2008. The bout was stopped about halfway through the first round and declared a no contest, after Overeem landed multiple knees to the groin of Krokop. Overeem was rumored to be making his first title defense against Brett Rogers on June 6 at Strikeforce, Lawler vs. Shields. However, a hand injury scuttled plans for the fight. According to Golden Glory manager B.A.S. Boone, Overeem had suffered a hand infection following a nightclub brawl early May 2009. According to Boone, Alistair and his brother Valentin, both heavyweights had been involved in an altercation that left five security staff needing hospital treatment and nearly cost Alistair his hand. Overeem was scheduled to make his first Strikeforce heavyweight championship defense in a rematch against Fabricio Verdum at Strikeforce, Carano vs. Cyborg, but had to pull out due to a hand injury, most likely caused from his nightclub brawl. Alistair defeated Tony Sylvester at Golden Glory's 10-year anniversary celebration with a standing guillotine choke. He used the same choke only eight days later to submit James Thompson at Dream 12. Overeem was set to face Andre Arlovsky at Dynamite. 2009, but FEG instead opted to have him face Kazuyuki Fujita to keep with the Dream vs. Sengoku theme, Overeem quickly overpowered his opponent and recorded a knockout with a knee to the head. Overeem next faced Brett Rogers on May 15, 2010 at Strikeforce, heavy artillery to defend his Strikeforce heavyweight championship, he won the fight via TKO in the first round. In his post-fight interview, Overeem declared for another time that he wants to fight Fedor Emelianenko, claiming that Fedor's management can no longer ignore his presence. The majority of Alistair Overeem's pre-fight training camp took place at the newly opened Golden Glory Gym in Pattaya, Thailand, where the demolition man concentrated on the further improvement of his Muay Thai skills. Overeem faced Todd Duffy on December 31, 2010 at Dynamite. 2010, he defeated Duffy by way of knockout 19 seconds into the first round to win the Interim Dream Heavyweight Championship, Strikeforce Heavyweight Grand Prix in early 2011, Overeem was named as one of eight men that will take part of the Strikeforce Heavyweight Grand Prix, alongside Fabricio Verdum, Sergei Karadinov, Brett Rogers, Josh Barnett, Andrei Arlovsky, Antonio Silva, and Fedor Emelianenko. A rematch with Fabricio Verdum took place on June 18, 2011, at Strikeforce, Dallas as part of an eight-man heavyweight tournament, Overeem defeated Verdum by unanimous decision, 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28, dot, removal from GP slash Strikeforce on July 17. It was announced that Overeem was removed from the promotion's 2011 heavyweight Grand Prix. Overeem went on to state that he felt the September date was too soon for him to return and that he needed time to rest and heal after his June 18th quarterfinal decision win over Fabricio Verdum. Overeem was swapped out for unbeaten up and comer Daniel Cormier. Subsequently, on July 29th, it was announced that Overeem had been released from the Strike Force organization as Sufa exercised their right to eliminate the one remaining fight on his contract. It was revealed that the reason behind Overeem's release from Strike Force was not due to his unwillingness to participate in the Grand Prix semifinals, but due to Golden Glory's policy requiring that the money fighters made through fights be paid through their management first. This disagreement led not only to Overeem's release but also other Golden Glory stars under a Zufa contract, including former Strike Force women's bantamweight champion Marlos Conan, Norwegian UFC heavyweight John Olav Einmo, and even brother Valentin Overeem. Team Golden Glory leader B.A.S. Boone stated he has since changed the policy and that Alistair Overeem could come to the UFC under an exclusive deal if the right terms are offered, which he later received, Ultimate Fighting Championship, 2011-2021, after much speculation, on September 6, 2011 it was announced that Overeem had signed a contract with the UFC and that his first fight would be against former UFC heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar on December 30th. 2011 at UFC 141. The lead-up to the fight was rife with controversy. 
In November 2011, both competitors were required by the NSAC to comply with out-of-competition drug testing. Lesnar delivered his sample screen on November 21, while Overeem delivered his on November 23. The screen, however, did not meet the standards of the commission. Overeem submitted a second test through his personal physician, which was also deemed unacceptable before flying out of the country. Overeem was ultimately given a conditional license for the fight by the committee during a meeting held on 12 December 2011. On December 30, 2011, at UFC 141, Overeem made his UFC debut in the main event against Brock Lesnar. Overeem hurt Lesnar multiple times early on with knees to the body and went on to finish the fight with a kick to the liver and subsequent punches at 2.26 of the first round. The victory earned him a heavyweight title shot against champion Junior Dos Santos. Failed drug test Overeem was scheduled to fight UFC heavyweight champion Junior Dos Santos on May 26, 2012 at UFC 146. However, on April 4, 2012, Overeem was revealed to have failed his pre-fight drug test by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, NSAC. Overeem had a 14-to-1 testosterone to epitestosterone, t e ratio, over the allowed ratio rate of 6-to-1. On Friday, April 20, 2012 UFC President Dana White confirmed that Overeem had been removed from his fight with Dos Santos and replaced by Frank Mir. One day prior to his meeting with the NSAC, Overeem released a prepared statement to the media in which he claims the positive result of the drug test came as a result of a doctor-prescribed anti-inflammatory medication that was mixed with testosterone. Overeem's lawyer filed a continuation request for additional time to gather support for his recent claim, which was voted on by the NSAC on 24 April 2012. The request was denied and the NSAC voted unanimously to deny Overeem's application status for a period of nine months, dating back to March 27, the day of his drug test. He was allowed to reapply after this time period in December 2012. Return Overeem returned to face Antonio Silva on February 2, 2013 at UFC 156, Leading up to the fight, Overeem was dismissive of Silva's skills, claiming he was better than his opponent in every aspect of MMA, despite being a heavy betting favorite and having won rounds 1 and 2, an overconfident Overeem lost to Silva by KO in the third round. Overeem was expected to face former UFC heavyweight champion Junior Dos Santos on May 25, 2013 at UFC 160. However, in early March, Overeem pulled out of the bout, citing an injury, and was replaced by Mark Hunt. For his third fight with the promotion, Overeem faced Travis Brown in the co-main event at UFC Fight Night 26 on 17 August 2013. Overeem was dominant early in the fight, attacking Brown with a flurry of knees and punches. Brown recovered and defeated Overeem via TKO with a front kick. Overeem was scheduled to face Frank Mir on November 16, 2013 at UFC 167, however, the pairing was moved to February 1, 2014 at UFC 169, he defeated Mir by unanimous decision and called out Brock Lesnar in his post-fight interview. Overeem injured his elbow and decided to take the time out to have surgery, expecting to return in September 2014. On July 9, the UFC announced he would face Ben Rothwell on September 5, 2014 at UFC Fight Night 50. Rothwell defeated Overeem via TKO in the first round. Overeem faced Stefan Struve at UFC on Fox 13 on 13 December 2014. He won the fight via KO in the first round. Overeem next faced Roy Nelson on March 14, 2015 at UFC 185. He won the fight by unanimous decision. A bout with Junior Dos Santos was rescheduled for December 19, 2015 at UFC on Fox 17. He won the fight via TKO in the second round. On February 15, 2016, Overeem announced that he had signed a new contract with the UFC. Overeem faced Andre Arlovsky on May 8. 2016 at UFC Fight Night 87, he won the fight via TKO early in the second round, subsequently, he earned his first performance of the night bonus. Overeem faced Stipe Miocic for the UFC Heavyweight Championship on September 10, 2016 at UFC 203, 
Overeem dropped Miocic with a quick straight left punch before losing the fight via knockout in the first round. Both participants were awarded fight of the night honors. Overeem faced Mark Hunt in a rematch on March 4, 2017 at UFC 209. He won the fight via knockout in the third round. A third fight with Fabricio Verdum took place on July 8, 2017 at UFC 213. Overeem won the fight by Majority decision, Overeem faced Francis Ngannou on December 2, 2017 at UFC 218. He lost the fight via knockout in the first round. Overeem faced Curtis Blades on June 9, 2018 at UFC 225. He lost the fight via TKO due to elbows in the third round. Overeem faced promotional newcomer Sergei Pavlovich on November 24. 2018 at UFC Fight Night 141, he won the fight via TKO in the first round. Overeem was expected to face Alexander Volkov on April 20, 2019 at UFC Fight Night 149. Volkov was forced to withdraw from the bout and was replaced by Alexei Olenik. After a few back-and-forth exchanges, Overeem won the fight via technical knockout in round one. Overeem was expected to face Walt Harris on December 7. 2019 at UFC on ESPN 7. However, Harris pulled out on November 1, 2019 due to the ongoing search for his missing stepdaughter, and he was replaced by Jerzynho Rosenstruck. He lost the fight via knockout in the last four seconds of the fifth round after being up. On all three judges' scorecards, 39-37, 39-37, and 40-36, dot, the bout with Walt Harris was rescheduled to take place on April 11, 2020 at UFC Fight Night, Overeem vs. Harris. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the event was eventually postponed. The fight was rescheduled to May 16, 2020 at UFC on ESPN, Overeem vs. Harris. Overeem was dropped and almost finished early in the first round, but went on to dominate the fight with ground and pound, eventually finishing Harris with a head kick and more ground and pound for a second-round TKO win. Overeem faced Augusto Sakai on September 5, 2020 in the main event of UFC Fight Night 176. He won the fight via technical knockout. In the fifth round, Overeem faced Alexander Volkov on February 6, 2021 at UFC Fight Night 184. He lost the fight via technical knockout in round two. On March 3, 2021, it was announced that Overeem had been released from his UFC contract. Kickboxing career Overeem had his first professional kickboxing fight at the age of 17 in a K-1 rules fight on November 15, 1997, winning the fight. After that he fought against Paul Hordick, winning by decision on March 14, 1999. Overeem then moved on to K-1, having two K-1 fights in six years against Errol Paris and Glob Fitosa. Overeem was knocked out in both bouts and stayed with MMA from then on. He did not fight in K-1 for four more years. On December 31, 2008, Overeem faced Badr Hari, one of K-1's top contenders, under K-1 rules at Dynamite. 2008, he defeated Hari by way of knockout in the first round. K-1 on March 28, 2009 he faced Remy Bonjaski, the defending K-1 champion, at the K-1 World GP 2009 in Yokohama. Overeem had success in the first and second rounds, but was knocked down by a right hook from Bonjaski in the third, who secured a unanimous decision win. All three judges scored the bout 30-28 in favor of Bonjaski. On September 26, at the K-1 World Grand Prix 2009 Final 16, having been selected by fan voting after his impressive performances against Remy Bonjaski and Badr Hari, Overeem shocked the kickboxing world by achieving a huge upset. He defeated K-1's longest-serving member, legendary three-time champion Peter Ertz, by unanimous decision. At the K-1 World Grand Prix 2009 final, Overeem knocked out the Kyokushin karate champion, Yuritan Teixeira, with a knee strike in the first round, but lost to Badr Hari via TKO in the semifinals. At the K-1 World Grand Prix 2010 in Yokohama, Overeem defeated Sevad Patrak via KO, right knee, in round 1 at 2 colon 40. Overeem defeated Ben Edwards by TKO in the first round on October 2, 2010 at K-1 World Grand Prix 2010 Final 16, which qualified him for the 2010 K-1 World Grand Prix. On December 11, 
At the Ariake Coliseum, Overeem won the K-1 World Grand Prix 2010 final. In the quarterfinals, he beat Tyrone Spong by unanimous decision, 29-27, 29-28, and 29-27. In the semifinals, he defeated Gokin Saki by first-round TKO after breaking Saki's right arm with a left middle kick. Saki's arm was already injured as a result of his previous fight with Daniel Gita. In the finals, he fought Peter Ertz for a second time. Overeem came out aggressively and finished Ertz in the first round. Glory over a decade removed from his previous kickboxing bouts, news surfaced on June 8, 2021, that Overeem had signed a multi-fight contract with Glory. Overeem was scheduled to challenge the reigning Glory heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven at Glory, Collision 3 on 23 October 2021, on October 6, 2021 it was announced that Overeem had to withdraw from the event due to an injury. He was replaced by former Glory heavyweight title challenger Jamal Ben Sadik. Overeem faced Badrahari on October 8, 2022 at Glory, Collision 4. He won the fight via unanimous decision. On November 21, 2022, it was revealed that Overeem had tested positive for a banned substance. After a few months the B sample was also tested positive the decision was overturned to a no contest due to the use of performance-enhancing drugs. Professional Wrestling Career Wrestling Entertainment Series Overeem was scheduled to headline the first wrestling entertainment series, WES, event in England against WWE wrestler Braun Strowman, after two prior cancellations and being rescheduled to take place on July 9, 2022, Wrestling Entertainment Series cancelled its inaugural event. Political career During the 2023 Dutch general election, Overeem participated for the last candidate on the party list of Belong van Nederland, BVNL. BVNL is a right-wing political party in the Netherlands, led by Wybren van Haga. The party was unable to win a seat. Fighting style Overeem is considered one of the most well-rounded heavyweights in the sport, though he is mainly known for his excellence and power in the striking field. A kickboxer of the Dutch school of Muay Thai decorated in K-1 world tournaments, Overeem favors kicks to the body and legs and knee strikes from the clinch, which have been described as devastating. His most famous finishing technique used to be the left knee to the midsection, which he has utilized to end many fights, but he switched to the left body kick instead late in his career. He is also proficient with left overhands and hooks once his opponents are worn down. On the grappling field, Overeem is universally known for his usage of the guillotine choke. A simple technique he uses to great effect thanks to his strength and height, Overeem was labeled as the best grappler in. Europe after submitting all his opponents in the ADCC 2005 tryouts through this move, personal life Overeem has three children. His eldest child, Storm, was born October 17, 2006. Overeem and his current fiancé have two daughters, Yasle and Sensi Liss, who each were born February 27, 2016 and August 2017. Overeem's great-great-grandfather was enslaved on the island of Jamaica. He became a free man and bought a large tract of land on which he started a village, which has survived and prospered to this day. His Dutch mother is a descendant of King William III of the Netherlands through one of his many illegitimate children. Overeem has a cameo appearance in the music video for LMFAO's hit single Sexy and I Know It. Dot, on an episode of Jackson Podcast, which is notably hosted by Rampage Jackson and Luke Rockhold, Overeem discussed his eldest child, Storm, who was assigned female at birth was trying to become a man. Overeem refused to use male pronouns for his child and claimed that Storm was brainwashed by the extreme left for six to eight hours a day. Overeem refuses to use male pronouns to refer to Storm. Legal issues in 2009, Alistair and his brother were involved in an altercation at a Dutch dance club. Alistair started arguing with a bouncer when he found himself without coins to pay the toilet woman and was asked to leave by five other security workers. Valentin intervened in his favor and was hit in the face with a flashlight, which incited a brawl. The incident ended with five bouncers having to go urgently to the hospital and Alistair being forced to turn down a title fight due to a hand injury gained in the brawl. On January 1, 
2012, following his match with Brock Lesnar at UFC 141, Overeem shoved a woman in the face, causing her to stagger back at the win Las Vegas at about 3 a.m., according to the Las Vegas Police Department. Not arrested but summoned to court, Overeem was charged with misdemeanor battery and faced a maximum of six months in the Clark County Detention Center and a fine up to $1,000 on March 28. 2012, Overeem was given a 90-day county jail sentence that would be suspended depending on the completion of 50 hours of community service and anger management. Championships and Accomplishments Kickboxing K1 K1 2009 World Grand Prix, 3rd place, K1 2010 World Grand Prix, Champion, Mixed Martial Arts. Ultimate Fighting Championship Heavyweight Title Challenger Performance of the Night, One Time, versus Andre Arlovsky Fight of the Night, One Time, versus Stipe Miocic Tide, Kane Velasquez and Andre Arlovsky, for second most knockdowns landed in UFC heavyweight division history, 10, most knockout losses in Zufa, LLC, UFC, Pride, WEC, Strikeforce, History, 13, Strikeforce Strikeforce Heavyweight Championship, One Time, First, last, only, one successful title defense Pride Fighting Championships 2005 Pride Middleweight Grand Prix Semifinalist Dream Dream Heavyweight Championship, one time, first, last, only, too hot to handle 2H2H Light. Heavyweight Championship, one time, 2H2H Light Heavyweight Tournament Winner World MMA Awards 2010 International Fighter of the Year, 2011 International Fighter of the Year, Sherdog 2010 All Violence Second Team, 2015 All Violence Third Team, Madna.nl 2018 Dutch Fighter of the Year. Submission Grappling ADCC Submission Wrestling World Championship 2005 ADCC European Trials minus 98.9 kg winner, records only fighter to simultaneously hold three championship belts, Strike Force, K1 and Dream, one of only two fighters to win a world championship in MMA and K1.